Hey everyone, this is Caitlin. And this is Lacey. And this is Women in the Trailer Industry. Today we want to talk a little bit about um, company terminology, what it means for the company to just really be speaking the same language and what that looks like for your employees and your leaders. Yeah. So you may be thinking, why is that even a topic? Why is that even important? Um, and at, for a long time, we didn't really find value in it because we weren't seeking, we didn't really know. It was kind of the unknown. Mm-hmm. Um, after, you know, doing a few sessions with our EOS and talking, starting to have that be our conversation of what is terminology? Do you use it? What are, what is everybody calling this or this or this? We can start to realize crap people are calling the same thing, five different things, yeah. you know, and no wonder we can't get on the same page because when someone says retail, are they really talking about cost? When somebody says cost, are they really talking about, you know, uh, is that cost a total cost or, or is that margin just or margin? Markup. Like what are we talking about? Right. <laughs> yeah. And so how do you just throw out a word and, uh, and apply it to your team? Do they know what that means? Like yeah. to be able to move forward. Yep. Yeah. And, and, our, in our quarterlies, we talk about, you know, do we know what done looks like? Yeah. So um, it's kind of what we've been doing in our meetings is, do we know what this means? Mm-hmm. Like, do you really know what this means so that we can in, we can reach that end result? And then also words matter. So how you yeah. phrase those words, how um, they come out, how you set up your company and your core focus mm-hmm. and things like that. So um, one of the things that we created was a unique proposition value. And so what is that? So one of the ways that your company, um, what, what sets you apart? Why are you unique? Um, so we decided that one of ours would be, uh, the acronym CAS, which stands for convenience, access, simplicity, and, um, speed. So, what we focus on is for our customers and for our employees being the most convenient, um, having everything be streamlined and be convenient to both set up your SO, put in your order, order from the website. And then once it gets to you, like it's going to come to you, you know, fast, you have access to information and resources, Mm -hmm. and it's going to be simple to get those things and to get the fulfillment of that product. Um, So that's why we, one thing that we can be different and unique in, and that's what we strive to do, but we've kind of coined the acronym CAS on that. So we can tell that to people, to our employees, and they know automatically like, is this process CAS, you know, is it going to be convenient? Is it going to be easy access? Is it going to be simple and have speed? Um, they know that that's what they're looking for when we say that. And it kind of makes it just a little bit fun, right? Yeah. And even for your customers too, you know, that helps them know what you stand for. What are you offering that is different from other people? Um, we kind of, the word transparent for us, you know, that means Mm -hmm. a lot for a lot of different people. Is it, Overly blunt is what I'm going to call the word yeah. right now. Is it blunt? Is it straightforward? Is it to the point? Direct. You know, and also on that end, both sides have to understand transparency and how that affects them and how they're going to react to that. But anyways, that was one of the words that, you know, when we were creating our company that we kind of struggled with because yeah. it means something different for everybody. Yeah, and so we we actually did set that word as one of our, you know, core values and we put some descriptive words on it, but we actually had to go back and tweak that and make it more um, clarified on what we meant. That doesn't mean be a rude person to people, right? Mm-hmm. That doesn't mean to say what you feel, no matter what that is. Um, and this is just your opinion. Yeah. That's more of like, we said transparent as a constructive, a constructive way to have everything on the table. What is your issue? Let's work towards solving it. That doesn't give you an outlet to be like saying what you mean, you know, yeah. and being rude about it. So it, there's things that you have to clarify, but being on the same page, as far as when we say something what does that mean? What does that mean to you? And the only way that that can happen really is if you start using the same terminologies and you start talking about like making it conversation. So when I say this, this is what I mean. Yeah. When I, when we, when we say cast, this is what it means. And this is what we're going to work towards when we say optimize and then we follow it by, but what does done look like Yeah. that not just saying the word, but following it with what is the outcome going to be here? Are we all looking for the same thing? Mm-hmm. Um, some industry ones are, you know, R and D. So what is that one? Research and development. So what do we use that for? 
Um, so anytime anybody wants like AI, a new project, a new software, um, they need to R and D it. Mm-hmm. And so for a while it was like, what do I do? You know, what are the steps? So really outlining what R and D looks like. And then, um, it's, it's a small word. So I like to yeah. use R and D. Yeah. And so, um, it's a good prompt say, Hey, you need to R and D it instead of, well, you need to research and you need to do this mm-hmm. and this and this. And they know what that means in one time. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Another one is uh, D&I. So <clears throat> we do, um, we, all, we also use this. And the, these two are some that, you know, lots of different companies use. This is not just specific to us. But D&I is develop and implement. So after you've researched then you need to develop whatever it is that you're going to use and implement it. So Mm -hmm. we use that a lot for um, just really just moving the needle. Right. So we all, you could always talk about like, okay, well we would really like to do this. Okay. Research it. It kind of just falls there. Yeah. What happens then, you know? Mm -hmm. And so we've really gotten into the habit of using, you know, the, you know, develop and implement D and I it. So after you have researched it, you need to develop whatever this is get it approved. And once it's impro- approved, it actually has to be implemented. Yeah. And it's kind of fun in the meetings when yeah. they're like, when they're like, well, um, better, let's just say better optimize my time. Okay. So how are you going to better optimize yeah. that time? Are you implementing it? Um, and one scenario was how to better optimize other people's time. And I'm like, you know, okay, so where's the research coming in? Are you going to be researching me or mm-hmm. what are you going to be doing there to make sure you're developing other people's time? Um, and so then we dwindled down to, okay, research it, propose it, and then implement it. So. Yeah, for sure. And and I think whenever you start, um, especially if you're on the same terminology basis, but when you start asking those questions, what you're really doing is causing people to think about what they're wanting to do, whether it's new software implementation, whether it's um, a new process that, that needs to, to start happening. Um, what you're really asking them to do is to really ask themselves all the questions that are going to need to be asked for whatever they're trying to do. And then actually put actionable things to it. Um, and, and I think that that's just the cool thing about it is, is, is when you're all on the same page of what a terminology means, what, what in, inside your company, of course, every company is going to have their own, right? Mm-hmm. All the, the only re- one of the reasons is why we were doing this podcast is just to say that it's important to clear, clarify what you mean by what you say. And then, so people can act on it and, mm-hmm. and know that when this is said, this is an actionable item. Yeah. You know. And even for a lot of people like giving context. So, you know, if you hear an idea and you're just like, no, maybe explain why, yeah. um, explaining we've tried this before or, and it didn't work and we're either not open to it or open to it just because we've, we invested a lot of time into it. Mm-hmm. And so also, you know, words matter in that sense that, um, maybe no just kind of comes off as standoffish and they don't know why you right. said no. They just think maybe you're shutting down you all your no ideas for it. and yeah. all that stuff. And um, just a bit of context can really help clear those words up and mm-hmm. make sure that they know what no means, you know. Right. It's either no, we've tried it, or no, just not interested at this mm-hmm. time or what it means. For sure, for sure. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I mean, just, just really just – decide what terminology you want to go for. Um, and, and really we like this stuff just kind of at first we didn't like when we were tossing around all these different words, we were like, why does this even matter? You know? And then we realized it actually does matter because everybody's on a different page here. Yeah. Everybody thinks something different about what this word means. And, and you know, what, when you say cost, what does that, what does that mean? Is that your total cost? Is that just your cost of your item? What, what does that, what does that mean? And so we've decided like, this is really important. Um, and we think it's kind of fun now. So if you have any, if you're listening and you have any, drop them in the comments, like, let us know what are yours for your company. Cause you know, we like cast, you know, with the stuff that we've made up and there's other ones. I was actually trying to think of them earlier and you don't really think about it until you're in the flow of whatever yeah. you're doing. You're like, okay, use this, you know? So, um, but, but let us know what it is. Um, and just, we really wanted to talk about and let you guys know that there is importance in it. Everyone is clear on the same page whenever you use it and you identify what those things are. Everyone is invested at that point and everyone knows when you say something, what to do with it. Awesome. Yep. Well, 
That's a wrap on that. Um, in August, we have NATDA coming up at the end of the month. Yep. And that is the... Uh, oh, what is it? Oh, yeah. the North American Trailer <laughs> Dealer Association. And it is August 29th through the 31st. Oh, you memorized the date. Yes. <laughs> well, my sales team's been asking me a lot because we picked we picked who is going to get to go, which is a big deal to get to pick, you know, which sales team member gets to go and, and participate this year. And, you know, they're wanting to know when it is. So it's like, it's testing me to, yep. t- to know all the things, yep. you know, so. Always knowing all the things. Yeah. But um, we'll have the Women in the Trailer Industry Committee this mm-hmm. year. So that'll be fun. It will be a networking event and a roundtable table. Um, we'll also have the podcast lounge, so yep. we'll be there as well as full send. And, um, we have a calendar floating around. So if you're there, be sure to book it on our calendar sure. and we'll hopefully put them in the link in the comments. And then, um, we'll see you next time. That's right. Follow us anywhere you follow your podcast, stream your podcast, YouTube, uh, Spotify, and don't forget to follow Juan at full send. Bye, Bye. guys.